Welcome to WB Mason Postgame Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Saturday afternoon, the Mets fell to 0-2 on the spring as they were beaten by the Miami Marlins 9-1, but game on as far as the first base <laughs> competition is concerned. First game, Ike Davis hits a home run. Lucas Duda hit a bomb in this game. You know what's nice to watch about Lucas is that even in his at-bats yesterday, he only had one hit when he broke the bat and had the ground rule double, but he also hit the ball hard the other two times, robbed of a hit, and his swing is right on time. And the home run he hit against the wind almost went over the berm. So uh, uh, an amazing job by Lucas today. Certainly you know, that, that swing Lucas put on that ball today was, he said, I mean, really, even the broken bat, he said hard. So, swinging great. Uh, yeah, I feel like my swing is, is kind of, um, you know, it's being more consistent as the days go on, more pitching I see. If you guys have noticed, you know, there's a lot of the movement is quieted down in his swing. You know, a lot of the pre, pre-swing pre movement, it's not, it's not what it once was. And I think it's made a difference in him. He's getting himself in a good position to hit and, and putting good swings on it. Also, in terms of the Mets' fifth starter competition, John Lannon laid down the gauntlet, two scoreless innings in his Mets debut. You know, I, I thought it was great watching John Lannon today. He was a little nervous in there in the beginning, but his changeup was very good over the course of those two innings. You know, he's a veteran guy. He's a lefty guy. you got a lot of power arms in that rotation. He might be a nice match. I was pretty nervous just getting back on the mound just because there was such a layoff. You know, my last game was last August, so uh, I was just excited to get back out there. He's got a good feel for it. Um, used his two-seamer very, very effectively. You know, when he's, when he's on, he gets a lot of ground balls, and, uh, you know, with his changeup, he can, he can get some ugly swings. So I, I, was, I was very happy with the way he threw. Anything to help this team. Um, I knew that coming in. Um, you got a lot of young, good starting pitching here, so um, I'm in the situation where um, I, I, I think I can pitch in the big leagues, and I'll do whatever I can to do that. Scott Rice pitched a good inning. Josh Edgen had a tougher time, had a couple of errors made behind him, gave up five runs. Yeah, they found that hole between third and short a few times, but this is a very important camp for Josh Edgen. It did not get off to a great start. So the Marlins win it 9-1, to and the Mets fall to 0-2 on the spring. We'll be back with you on SNY on Tuesday afternoon when the Mets play the Astros at 1 o'clock. That'll do it for WB Mason Postgame Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.